<laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you today? We have a sunny day today, so that's wonderful. I hope everyone is fine. Today, we are going to talk about water crystals. And I have with me my friends, Elke. Elke, how are you today? Thank you so much, Beverly. Uh, thank you for having me again. Um, like here, even in London today, you won't believe it, I have a really sunny day, beautiful weather. And which, you know, automatically lifts your mood. I'm really, really in a very wonderful place. That's, in my heart. <laughs> that's wonderful to hear. That's wonderful to hear. So yes, today you are going to talk about uh, water crystals uh, for people. Actually, uh, when we put crystals uh, in water, I, I suppose when we drink it, it have also some effects. So you will explain that to us, right? I try my best because you know that is a vast subject. And um, uh, but then on the other hand, I I'm sure people. Um, who are watching your program are, can relate to uh, crystals and know about what they can do, what they are capable of. I figured for my clients that a crystal in, in water is sometimes an easy option um, because you can do it in between. You don't have to let, lie down and put them on your body. It's um, something you can easily do. Okay. Everybody could. And... Um, it will have the same effect as um, if you would put it on you, nearly the same effect. But it, I have um, searched for and written out a few options for um, stress or for a relaxation and give you a few crystals. Um, I'm sure you received this. If you would like, you can, for the people who are interested, just put it on the bottom of the video mm -hmm. and they can figure it out or ask you or me to, um, there are about 100 different ones. So I just, you know, in our short brief moment of, of time here, we can only choose a few. Um, yeah, I actually, as you can see, have um, made a bit of a kind of presentation as good as I can. So there are several options to make crystal waters. First of all, of course, you just put them into water. That's the easiest option. Okay. Um, what I would recommend is I chose glasses now and I didn't put water on it because I don't, don't want to spill it. Do not take too much. It is the... This is passing on the vibration of the crystals to the water. And as we established in, in our first talk, um, the, it doesn't matter if it's a mini crystal or a bigger one, the structure inside the crystal is completely the same and it will pass the message on to the water. So another option is to make a pattern and I'm not sure if it's visible. So you put the water in and then make a shape out of those little crystals. Okay. And direct into, into the water. Uh, as far as I know from all the people I'm connected to, I'm the only one I connect the crystals with the water. I program them as established in our first video and I do connect them to the glass or even go across the glass and say, put all the energy of whatever, this one is just for healing and tranquility. I have a and, question before you continue. Yes. So the one yes, you, you just show is just the glass and then the crystal uh, going toward the the glass, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the the difference is actually you don't have to. Um, you just pour the water in and place it. If I I have it in, my one is like this. So you always have to be careful because they are oh, moving. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, what I also recommend a flower of life on the bottom, or if you have a lid, put it on the lid, which amplifies even more the, the whole energy flow. Um, the, what you can do as well, which is, as I mentioned before, you have a water jar and you have wands, crystal wands. Mm -hmm. You are just putting in there. And it's the same, it is a bit easier then to pour it out without having the loose crystals in, yeah. in, the, in the glass. Yes. And this is, a, you know, as I mentioned, crystal water for me is actually an easy option. And so we should make it as easy as possible and not, you know, pouring out the, the little crystals. Um, so as, as you can see, this is just a, a flask and then all the crystals are in there. This is a pure uh, rose quartz for, of course, self-love and harmony. Small, yeah, the smaller one, right? Uh, yes, yeah. So um, th there are different um, ways to do this. For example, here I chose on purpose a jasper because jasper is for me very grounding. So if you drink a glass, glass water, it's jasper and, and cornelian in the morning and you have a lot of chores to do. So you are just confused and you think, oh, hopefully I'm gonna manage just drink one of them. That is such a grounding stone. And you just say, okay, I'm gonna do it all fine. And you will see you come home in the middle of the day and think, Wow, I did well. Yeah. And that is really, really a small thing. That's, a, that's why I love the crystal water. You just drink it in the morning and, mm -hmm. and go. Yeah. And the, the cells take the vibration of this frequency. They just do. That is how we, how we are constructed. The whole human body is like this. So what I also like is I... I think people underestimate a bit agate. Um, agate is a beautiful stone, any agate, to cleanse your aura because, again, it's a very grounding stone. And right now, you know, grounding is very important with all the influence from the outside and all the uncomfortable information. So I put it careful. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's, you have to stay centered and in. For me, an agate is often um, right at second class crystal, so to oh. give it a name. Mm -hmm. But it's really under, so for example, this one, you just place, you program it for yourself. In this case, pink again, we are with self love and, you know, being in our heart center and loving everybody else. When we love ourselves, we love everybody else. That's the way it is. Mm -hmm. So, and then you just put the water on it and the same in the morning, wow. quickly done and you go out in the world. Yes. Okay. That's the easy one. That, those are the easy <laughs> ones. And I think crystal water is easy to do. Uh, another thing is, again, we are with agate. This is a little bowl and you won't believe it. Pets like it. So if you put crystal... It, this is a smaller one, but for the purpose now, I, I chose yeah. a small agate. Um, if you can buy a, a, a bit bigger one, and they are not even expensive, not here in Britain, um, and you fill them regularly with water, animals will prefer that to a normal water. You can try it out. They will prefer the, the ionized water. Yeah, uh, for sure. Um, and one wonderful thing as well is which i personally like as well you can fill it up in a bottle and spray it in the room spray it over yourself another fast and easy option to energize yourself bef before you even do anything all of this um options i've sh i've shown here i would recommend do it in the morning before you leave your house before you do anything else it is just you are preparing your aura for a great day that's it <laughs> period you're preparing yourself going in and doing your best um and on top you have the knowing i did that so there is a combination of the 
physical effect of the mm -hmm. of the water and the mental uh, effect. You know, you know, you've did it. You so did. Yeah. That, that yeah, changed a little bit your mind. Absolutely right. And you can't be wrong with that. And come on, everybody drinks a quick glass of water in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I do. You know, whoop, my crystal water. <laughs> so um, in this case, I have here a, a shung guide, which um, you can find on my website as well, which is the absolute, for me right now, absolute uh, protection spray with all the EMF and what's going on. I have even a Shungite plate on my telephone. So Shungite is a wonderful protection stone if somebody wants to Google that and buy one on whatever, Amazon, eBay, wherever. Okay. Mm, I lost you. Hello. Yes, we are. As back. I showed, yes, that's fine. As I showed before, I use this program it for me because that's my glass and put the, the message in, please energize and let me fall in love with me even more. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And then you place your water on it. Um, you should repeat it after a little while, not every day, but now and then you should repeat it and clear the crystal under run running water, very fine uh, water. And then uh, you can, the ones you put this glass on. That, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that should should okay. be uh, cleansed on and off because it's outside and also gets dusty yes. and yeah so it, i i clean it on and off the ones in the water is a different story um what i also recommend do not use tap water tap water right now here in london you can't drink it it's really really a uh, very bad quality i drink filtered water um you have to figure out where you live, which quality your water has, because there's a lot of uh, metals in there, fluoride is in there. So it's it, it depends on where you live. Um, or I personally uh, use filtered water or um, distilled water. You know, oh. you can buy this bottles as well, mm -hmm. um, but you have to fill it up. I never let it run completely uh, on the ground. I mm -hmm. always fill it up and then add it again. Okay. So, yeah. I I hope I covered this well enough. I, yes. Yeah, I, I have a I, few recommendations. Yes. Before you go to your recommendation, I will have yeah. one question. With what you uh, present today, we drink mm -hmm. it in the morning. Uh, can we, uh, let's say, drink it during the whole day with the, you know? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, of course. Yes. Um, for me, the most important uh, is whatever you do in the early morning that directs your whole day. You know, yeah, how yeah. you think, how you mm -hmm. act. And with this support of a very small act of, you know, drinking a glass of water, your day can be completely different. Believe me, it, it's, it's really simple as that. Um, of course, you can drink it during the day as well. But I personally would not overdo it because of very simple reason. It is with everything else. If you have too much sugar in the cake, you can't eat it. Too much salt in the soup, it's not good. Too much perfume on you, everybody will step away from you. Yeah. So find a middle ground you know so to to make it efficient you know otherwise an overdose is never good in right. nowhere you know so i personally drink a maximum two a day because i i know what i put in there and that's fine you know don't forget most of the people who are watching that first of all using crystals as well like wearing them or meditating with them or um they have them in the house so they have kind of constant connection, connection. to them as well mm -hmm. yeah and uh, 
if they have them for a long time, they are merged with your energy field. And this one is just supporting from the inside out. And the what I'm giving now a few kind of recommendations are um, also in certain, how shall I put it, certain situations where you might need it like, um, I wrote a few down and go go by one by one. And again, um, I sent you the, mm -hmm. the what I'm saying now, I sent you. So if somebody would like to have it, just uh, send it will, to them. And, yeah, I will put it uh, below the video if I can. Yes, yeah, um, that's, that's easy. So um, forgiveness is one big subject, you know, I'm sure with, if you talk to clients in my case, the, it's forgiveness is often uh, mocha eat, um, obsidian and rhodonite. Um, the funny thing is mocha eat and obsidian are quite grounding stones and rhodonite is heart chakra. So you are balancing you know, you were out of this because you can't forgive the person. They did something to you. So you are out of the system and your daily function. And so those stones ground you and then you add like the sweet, a little bit hard, you know, a bit of loving um, energy and that will, will make the trick. Um, consciousness and trust. Um, and this is often as well, more and more as you know, people wake up and they are completely conscious, but then can I trust what I hear, what I see, mm -hmm. what I do? Um, I, I experience that a lot with people who are coming and wanted to some kind of reading. You know, I, I still do readings. Uh, I do oral read, readings mm -hmm. as well. And, as a clairvoyant, I just tune in and, or with you now, you know I can read your aura from here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so back to consciousness and trust, and that would be Amazonite, uh, Dumaterite, and Rhodonite. Um, again, we have green stones, um, which is love again, you know, because trust has to do with love. Yeah. Um, loving yourself first, loving your support system, your aura, your energy field, your higher self and your highest self and your all your ancestors who mostly lining up behind you. And you just, you know, a lot of people in, in my clients, they feel it, they know it, but they, they are fearful. So mm -hmm. this is a beautiful uh little juice in the morning <laughs> and you think okay granny i talk to you tonight <laughs> <laughs> so more now i have um, clarity that is a very simple one and believe me you should try i tried it it's beautiful oh. diamonds quartz wow that is baba boom <laughs> it's just give, giving you really um Carries what in. you what you be aware this is really clarity i mean my vision has been um has been really sharpened after drinking uh, this combination <laughs> so, so then we have happiness we all need that isn't it uh, opal sunstone and imperial topaz opal is the the colorful mostly white um this this one here and sunstone is of course you yeah. know opal is a very fun loving crystal it's uh, honestly if you if i hold them and tune in most of them giggle you have a really fun frequency straight away as soon as you um as you hold them. Uh, sunstone, of course, connects you with yes. the energy of gold. Gold is right now the highest frequency. So an imperial topaz is a yellowish uh, crystal as well, which has a, a, a whole rainbow color in it. So if that is not working, I'm sorry, then you have an issue. <laughs> this is a brilliant <laughs> combination. <laughs> Just try it out. It's easy. And again, you don't need to buy big some of the stones. Imperial Topaz mm -hmm. is quite expensive. So 
Opel, I know it's quite expensive here and maybe in the States, you know, but you have this big uh, exhibitions over there. But here it, it is quite expensive, but you need just a few. In, in this case, just three would be enough and just, you know, follow one of the procedures. In this case, I would put them into the glass. Okay. Um, and this is, I chose this one as well because I think... This is a good one. If you have an emergency shock, like an accident, a bereavement, or an injury, you know, sudden something, sudden come up. And like, of course, you could go for Bach flower remedies, uh, but you also could have this um, available, especially uh, families, if the, you have a child and, you know, suddenly you hear it cry because it stumbled over something and the knee is open and you just, yeah, come on. Again, we have two factors. It works as a vibration and it works in the head mm -hmm. and the child will stop crying. You know, it, it is just, come on, a plaster. And it helps two ways. Uh, in this case, it's again, obsidian for um, a grounding, rhodonite is hard. Amethyst is the clarity in your head and clear quads as well. So the clarity, really clearing that heavy stuff out okay. and still being with one stone grounded and staying in the now because we are in the third dimension. We are still acting here. We are living here. So then another way to do this is what I like as well, putting it in the bathtub. The only recommendation which... I personally would would uh, mention is not too hot. I sometimes like very hot bath, but for the crystals, it would be better to have a, a, a good warm one um, because some crystals are not so good with heat. With okay. I mean, really, heat, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you put your toe in and it's red, you know that I would not. <laughs> this kind of heat um so that is and if you want to have a, a nice relaxing bath just a few of um aventurine again we are going for heart self-love magnetite which is actually good to balance the whole the whole energy field. okay the um, whole body right yes yes um correct and then earth Frasm. Frasm is a quartz, which is um, green. Um, serpentine is a greenish stone as well, and turquoise, which is, as you know, um, uh, like, yeah, bluish green. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of those, go, again, go to the heart. You know, the bottom line is, again, you know, relax, fall in love with you, stay in the nice frequency of those crystals and you're jumping out and saying yippee <laughs> <What?"> <laughs> um, now i have a bit of a naughty one i have a central bath so if you plan a nice night <laughs> i would recommend this one i would <laughs> fire opal you know the, the red in there garnet Again, red, rhodochrosite heart, rose quartz love, and red tourmaline. So all of them go to the first chakra and activate all your juices. So if I would really recommend try it once. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you may be tempted to repeat it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I thought we needed a funny, a, yeah. a funny end. Yeah. So that is actually it is quite brief today, but that is actually um, a little round up about the crystal water. Um, again, there are quite a few um, informations out there. I googled it myself. Um, most of this stuff here is actually um, known by a German uh, geolo 
just uh, which passed unfortunately a couple of years ago he was brilliant um, and he did a little booklet which calls waterstones and it's really um, recommendable his mm -hmm. name is michael or michael ginger i spell it is g-i-e-n-g-e-r and um, he has written a lot of books and um, uh, i i Swear on him. He's really, really good. Again, unfortunately, he passed away, but he left a, a legacy of um, crystals and these those little booklets, which yeah. my presentation relates on um, to. And again, those those tubes um, can be purchased um, online. You also can buy them on my website and. Um, I'm sending them at least uh, in Britain um, for free. Um, Upload them might be a fee. Yeah, and uh, they are coming safe in a in, in. A mm -hmm. carton. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and in bubble wrap, so it's really easy to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and as you can see, those, those carafes here is actually I'm kind of misusing a vase. But those shapes for me are brilliant because if you can take, you take it out, you hold it, and then you pour oh, yeah. it into it. Yeah. It's so easy to do. And, um, you know, this is a standard um, glass vase, which you can surely buy everywhere. What I'm saying is you don't have to purchase both of it. You just can try to find wherever, even online, one of those crystals. And they are in, in line of whatever is in there and what you need so you can choose what what you okay what you need. okay I you see. can use let use them endlessly no limit no limits that's no limit. yeah only, only thing first thing crystals mm -hmm. help me help them now with all your properties <laughs> never forget that yes Always program them for yourself. If you give them away, clear them energetically with light, with the bells, or even as I help now, you know, all energy goes out and then you can program them for somebody else. Never forget that. That is the key, in my opinion, for crystal healing, that, that you really make it connect to you. To you. Okay, yeah. that's really interesting. Really interesting that uh, I hope that was. Yes, it was, and yeah. uh, I I learned a lot about crystals, and you know I didn't know about all this, so I'm grateful for for the information that uh, you just uh, provided. That's that's wonderful. Um, yeah, I uh, I hope that was helpful for um, some of our viewers or your viewers. Mm -hmm. And again, if there is any question, just to let yeah. them drop a line below or Comment. send me. In. I'm, I'm always willing to help out and to, we both believe in the law of attraction. So what exactly. I give will come back. Exactly. Easy. Yes. I will Easy. add so, the, and, I will you know, add. I just want to the list of the crystals uh, uh yes and also and, your website and, so people you know yes. they can yes. always uh, reach you so um, that is not on my website yet but it is if you send me a mail I, it is i have just changed my web designer mm -hmm. um he was a lovely man but he didn't do what i wanted him to do so i i'm in the process to move a few okay. things around but if you send an email uh, it's easy you know i will answer straight away That's okay fine. all right no problem thank you uh, elke we started with the sun and right now Looks like is the rain is coming on my side. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Yes, no. so that is good because it would be refreshing because it's so hot. Oh yes, yeah, oh yes, so I, it I would agree. be good. I agree. Yeah, it would um, be good. Yes. Thank you for having me, and uh, you. I'm sure we come up with another subject to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Elke. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And if you have a question, 
please uh, yeah. leave a comment below. I will uh, give, uh, I will put all the detail uh, that uh, we went through today and also the website of Elk if you want to reach her and her email. Thank you everyone Thank you. and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.